absolutely loved everything there was to love about this episode of Banana Fish. Oh my god, like, front, bro, it, it was just amazing. Just, I don't know, the downtime they got, the, the, just the bonding they had. We, it's confirmed, it's a, it's a bromance, you feel me? It's not all that. I'm, I'm, I'm throwing y'all, y'all. It's, it's a bromance, you feel me? They brothers that just love each other a little extra, you know what I mean? But, it's it was just it was just really cool to see them just lay back and get to really know each other like to find out that ash is afraid of pumpkins really just threw me for a loop like wow it was pretty like i said it was a pretty great episode and the way ash got back and dino bro it was like taking all his money now he's got to go out of state just to tell all the like the um, other mafias and stuff, why the money's all this and all that, it's just crazy, bro. And then the fact that he left it, he left all his troops and all his people to Arthur. So we getting into that stage where Arthur and Dino, I mean Arthur and Ash is gonna go at it. You feel me? It's probably gonna be. I'm hoping. What I'm feeling now is I think this only has 13 episodes this season. What I'm hoping. What I'm hoping is we get a second season if it's only 13 episodes this season i'm hoping we get a second season bro i can't just they can't just they can't just leave us off when he beats arthur and leave dino like we gotta see all that they, they gotta go and give us like a second confirmation of a second season or something man because how this is turning out like this episode really just i don't know it was something about this episode that brightened up this anime like it made me want to keep watching like i wanted the story to extend after this you feel me like like i've never seen a dude like two dudes like i don't know i never watched the anime that i seen two dudes their relationship and it made me happy you know what i mean like they they really show some brotherly love in this episode I mean, for, like when he was calling him Big Brother and everything, it was funny to me. But at the same time, it was kind of heartwarming. You see, we get to see an ad, a side of Ash that we never usually get to see. That's why I really like this episode. Like, this episode was really great. Like, for just a downtime episode and just not much happening. Like, behind the scenes stuff was happening, but, you know, not big things happening. It was a great episode, dude. Like, man, I really, like, this episode was pretty good. Like, last episode was probably, like, the craziest. But this episode was, to me, just the happiest. You know, I don't think it's going to get any better than this. You know, the happy part. Like, and we get to see the end at, like, Max, how he was talking to himself in his head. Like, we know that each of is going to be, sooner or later, is going to be Ash's you know, Achilles heel or kryptonite, you know what I mean? He would like like he said in his in his episode, Ash would probably give up his life to protect Ichiji. Because one thing is Ichiji is just that guy that just showed him life is worth living basically. You know, you can get past all this and actually have a happy life. He even said one thing in his like in his he was like, you can actually live in Japan because he was so good with the chopsticks. Like, he was like kind of like foreshadowing that maybe both of them might end up moving to Japan. And, you know, they might just live their life together. You know, brother, brothers, I'm just saying, bro, I don't I don't want to, you know, get into how, how that might turn out. But, you know, I'm just happy to see that our characters are happy for us. You know, it ain't no gunfights. It ain't no people trying to break out of prison. It ain't no fight no mafia. It's just just talking like having a great just conversation you know what i mean and i'm like it can't get no better than this especially out of the 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 big loss we had with shorter bro like they needed this they really needed this man i i like i can't even explain all how i feel about this episode it was just great he's getting back it at Dino, he's going after. I'm about to call that nigga Charlie. His name not even Charlie. It's, it's fucking Arthur. I'm about to call that nigga Charlie. But uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I'm pretty sure everybody enjoyed this episode just as the fact that they actually got some time to rest. Like, I, and I also like that part at the beginning when Ash was like, "Wake me up in two hours," and he's like, his little group 
was so scared to wake him up. But EG went over there like, Ash, get up. And he smacked him on top of his head. Ash woke up and like, it's been two hours. And like, everybody waiting on Ash to like, explode. But dude was like, all right, I'm about to go take a shower. Everybody was like, what the, like, what, what is this? Who got, whose man is this? If it was me, like, they was like, if it was me, I would have got my head. I would have got beat up, you know? It was just so great to see the character development in this episode, you know? <laughs> and the bond that each G and Ash has, like, it doesn't get any better than this. And I've been rambling on, but like I said, I really enjoyed this episode. Um, how did you guys enjoy it? Did y'all like it? I'm, I personally loved, I loved this episode. Comment down below what y'all like the most about this episode. Also, if you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. And as always, Zodak Anime, and I'm out. Peace. <laughs>